I wonder what this button does. <laughs> no! Give me back my stone. You jerk. Let's try it again. Okay, so here I have a little workaround for the property of comparators because you have to. So if you wanted to use this command block multiple times to test the out output, and let's say you kept putting the stone in inventory, then it would take your stone, but it wouldn't say I got your stone because it only, you know, it's only saying I got your stone once for that. So what I've done is very simple. I've just put a set block command before the actual comparator that you're checking the output of, and it's going to place a, a redstone um, comparator that is off by default over here, and that way, when it then tells this command block to say, "Oh, do we have it?" then the output's going to be different, or it may be the same, but it's going to retest. So even if it is the same. Even if I did put more stone in my inventory and press the button, it's still going to say I got your stone. But then if I didn't, so if I just press the button, I don't have any stone, then it's going to act the same way. So we have data values. On this one I have data value 2 for the comparator. So 1 is east, 2 is south, 3 is west, 4 is north. Now you can put at least 15, the number 15 in. So let's say I put uh, six. If I put six in there, then it's going to make a comparator face it the same way as this one going south. And um, so it just com it just repeats somewhat. So if I put zero, then it goes north. So the default is north, and then every time you add one, it goes in a different direction. So five should be east. Yeah, see, so it just cycles through that all the way up until 15. So if I put 15 in, it's going to be going west. So then I go back to 2. So that's kind of funny that you can use. I mean, you could just stick with these four, but it uses anything, by the way. Anyway, so there's my cool workaround. Let's see it once more in action. I got your stone. I got your stone again. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Okay, see you later.